Hey guys, this is Pacino, and welcome back to the Minecraft Reddit server. This is just like yesterday's single player video. It is an update to what I've been doing. And if you recall, if you watched yesterday's episode, you would have heard that I have been on the server quite a bit. Uh, actually, I was only on for a day, but I was on for a good portion of the day. Um, so, I got quite a bit done. Um, unfortunately, everything you see around you has not changed at all, except the ender chest. <laughs> that has changed. It's now next to all the other chests. It's probably the only thing that's changed here. Right there. Um... Other than that, nothing has changed at all. So, what have I been doing? Um, let's just say another base. No, I'll stop with the annoying noises. Um, if you remember a long time ago, I said something about maybe moving to a different base, starting up a new place. And that is the case. <laughs> so much rhyming. Um... I'll go ahead and take you over there. I just came back here to uh, harvest some more reeds, just because I can, and to uh, make the video not seem so weird. Um, yes, I am starting a new place. It is a pretty cool base, and that is indeed the case. But we are very far away. Why can't I hit the button? Hit the button. Get in the cart and hit the button. That works. Um... I wanted, um, let's just make this easier to say, I guess. When I first joined the server, I had the idea of making a floating base, and I was going to make it in, like, these glass spheres over an ocean, and then I took the idea into creative mode and found out that creating glass spheres is that look good is very, very hard. So I decided to do away with the uh, spheres and just make a floating base thought that would be a pretty cool idea, but the problem with having no glass spheres is that you have nothing to work off of. You have completely blank air, and it is very hard to uh, come up with things that can fill up blank air and still be worthwhile. So that's why oh, this guy, um, I just got kind of uninspired with me. With the place. Why are these not stone bricks? Did I forget to do that? Maybe that was already like that. Oh, now they move, of course, after I get out of the cart. Um, that's why I was uninspired. So I just decided to move to a completely new area where the um, map hadn't even been rendered yet. Complete new chunks. And it was just a nice little forest, and I started building a couple buildings. Um, I want there to be sort of like a pattern or a theme, um, but I have not really found out what my theme is yet. I'm kind of working out with some, like, um, cobblestone, uh, glass, plane, glass panes, and logs, and stone brick, and stuff like that. You'll see when I get there. Um, it's very similar to the house I made in the residential area in Spawn Village. Um, I don't know if I've shown that yet. I might have to show that. Um, I guess we could do that at the end of this, the end of this episode. Very, uh, loss of words lately. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is quite a cart ride. I actually haven't really rode the cart there. I always just put Minecraft in uh, behind the window or something and do something else <laughs> while I wait for this cart to go all the way to the end. Um, happens to be that my tunnel is right across from Jetland, so we're neighbors now. I actually went to his place to get to my place for the first time since it was the nearest. 
Here it is. I have not marked it yet. Probably should do that before anybody, like, closes it up. And I've not yet put tracks down this tunnel, but I will. I need to come up with a good idea for the transportation method, and I think I have a good idea, but it will have to wait until 1.4 or until we do snapshots on this server. I'm not sure if we're doing that. Um, you'd think for being the Minecraft a fan server of the Minecraft server, and the Minecraft server went to uh, snapshots, you'd think that we would go to snapshots too, but not quite sure. So, here it is. I got two buildings so far, a bedroom and a storage. I created the storage one, but I have not yet moved everything over. So, everything I own is in all these chests, and I've yet to sort it out. Um, but I did set my spawn here. I did tame a wolf only because he was in my way, and I had bones on me. Um, but yeah, this is the style I'm going after. Very nice. I like this. And then I tried to base a second story building off of it. I'm not sure how I like this, though. I wanted to go with the same uh, stone or cobblestone window stone slab. But to make a second floor, I had to do some weird stair action going on. And then uh, back here where there are no windows, I had to fill in empty places. And the real bad thing is the back of the building is kind of boring. Um, what I might do is go to the stronghold and try to collect some of the cracked and mossy stone brick and replace some of that back here. Put some mossy cobblestone up there. Kind of mix it up a little bit. Uh, this is what my roads are going to look like. Just plain stone brick and then gravel to the buildings itself and just big trees everywhere with that nice uh, technique to grow big trees where you put a sapling down three blocks like here two blocks away from the sapling you build three blocks up and put a torch on each one and you'll get a big tree every time you bone meal it Oop. let me go ahead and drop off some sugar cane like so. And my wolf has the tendency to stand up and act like a wolf. Actually, I need to sleep. I'm the only one on the server at the moment. Um, I apparently have not tamed him well enough yet. I've tamed him, but I haven't um, trained him yet. So, he still acts awkward a little bit. Um, man, I'm getting frame rate issues. Um... I'm planning to make like an entire village here that takes up quite a bit of this forest. It's not that big of a forest, really. Um, if we... Oh, another wolf. I think it's this direction. No, it's probably not this direction. Yeah, you have a plains right over there that you could see just by standing on these trees. And then if you go in the opposite direction... This way, there's a snowy biome. So the forest isn't really that big. So I don't have to worry about, like, taking up the entire... Or not taking up the entire forest, I should say. Yep, there's the snowy. Tundra. Uh, very hilly forest. Reminds me of the beta 1.7.3 generation, which I still think is the best terrain generation in Minecraft. Um, so I decided to make my place here. Uh, this used to be a water pool, and I took all the water out, and this is where I was temporarily holding my chests before I built the building, the first building there. And it got creepered so many times, and I had to uh, frantically reorganize everything after the chests blew up so many times <laughs> um, before I got the great idea of lighting up the forest. So, that's how that went. I'm going to go ahead and uh, head off to Spawn Village. We're going to go over to the residential area 
or residential sector, whatever it's called, and visit my house that I built. It's very similar to those I just showed you. It's got a different second story to it. <laughs> it's like the first story is completely different than the second story, but um, yeah. So I'll be right back. Alrighty, here we are. Let's see if I remember how to get there. Spawn village or spawn city or whatever, whatever the actual official name is called, is very huge, and I get lost very easily. But I think it is this direction. Yeah, because every time I come back, I look at that giant bookcase. So we go past the giant towers. Uh, we go past the windmill. The nice wheat farm where I got some of my first wheat on the server. <laughs> and I was really awkwardly right next to somebody, and I was like, Hi, how are you? I'm just taking wheat from this. Hope it's okay. Uh, go by the ghost paintball arena that got ruined during some... Uh, I think the map got corrupted or something before I uh, was on the server, and yeah, half of it was there and half of it wasn't, so they just kind of left it. So yeah, here is the first residential area of the city. I live on one goober close, I think. One or two, I don't remember my own address. I think this is Methy's. Not sure. Um, I do know that the giant methy sign is gone. <laughs> it's like 60 blocks tall. I'm pretty sure that's his building. Her. I'm not sure. Ah, <laughs> uh, gender on the internet. Um, let's see. Who's my neighbor here? Remy Chivo. He's a cool guy. I talked to him a couple times on the server. Let's check out his place first. Nice little basement going on. Ooh, and chain station and everything. Very nice windows. I like the fences right outside the windows. It's pretty neat. Um, anyway, this is my place here. <laughs> Remember what I said about the bottom looks totally different than the top? Yeah. One geezer clothes. I knew it was one of Zisto's cat's names. Shush. Um, yep, this is it right here. I used all mossy cobble on the bottom and pine wood logs and some wood on the top. But that's about it. Got some nice uh, shrubberies front here. A uh, nice furnished floor. We'll get to this. Um, my wonderful bedroom kind of room. Oh, I still have stuff here. Should probably take that. And then up here, I had no idea what to do, so <laughs> it's kind of open. There's a nice walkway out to the balcony and to the sea. I wanted that plot that Methy took, but he got it first, so I was forced to uh, take the second best plot next to the ocean, it's right here. There we go. Nice uh, circle pattern on the ceiling. I tried to do some kind of checkerboard thing on the ceiling here, and it kind of didn't work out because I had to uh, mess with it. It's kind of ugly, in my opinion, but <laughs> I had no idea what to do. So, Fuzzbox did a video where he went through and inspected the houses of this place. And he left me this. Gorgeous exterior. Use of logs is support a wise choice. Exterior lighting is nice. Use of switches on lights. A nice change from always on lights. Yeah, see? You got light switches. Very nice. Bedroom light and a living room light. Baseboards covered in mold. Huge health hazard. And you sleep next to three walls coated in this stuff. First of all, green does not mean mold. I believe if you pick this up... Oops. <laughs> didn't mean to explode everything. Let's go and pick this up. Just uh, renovating. Don't worry. Moss stone. This is moss, not mold. Thank you. It is a wonderful plant that furnishes the house and 
totally makes it look better. It is not mold. It refreshes the house, makes the air cleaner, and sleeping next to three walls of this stuff is my prescription for my bad lungs. And you think this is mold? Maybe you have a allergy or something to mold or <laughs> to this moss. You might want to get that checked out because this is not mold, buddy. <laughs> anyway, just had to get out. Stairs have no railings. Oops, I didn't <laughs> throw it on the ground now. Um, you can't even get hurt from falling down the stairs. Once you're up here, the floor acts as your barrier. You can't take damage or hurt yourself. It's not a lethal fall. If you somehow get hurt from falling down the stairs, then you won't win the court case because you had to have been too stupid to, like, untie your shoes or something. Upstairs is very nice and luxurious. However, there is no separation from indoor and outdoor. That is a valid point. I will go ahead and give you that. <laughs> there is no door leading from up and down, so... That's okay. I give you that. And let's see. Upstairs has no railings on balcony. Potential, has potential hazard. Um, I'll give you that too, but I guess I should put it like a warning sign or a disclaimer. If you fall off the off the roof, <laughs> I have nothing to do with it. Uh, I actually have some. Actually, I need one more, don't I? To make sticks. Up, oh, nope. For some reason, I thought you needed four planks to make a sign. Let's go ahead and do that. That way, I don't get sued for people falling off my house. Um, let's put it right here. Nope, that's a uh, upside down half slab. Um, anywhere else, this sign is going to stick out pretty much. Disclaimer. Uh, Paz is not responsible for deaths in um for any damages here dang it <laughs> I would write more but I can't fit it so basically that's saying if you fall out of this demonstration and you kill yourself that is not my fault you have been warned. There. So that takes care of that point. Oops. That's not the signs. Price estimate, 205 emeralds. And it says here, I don't know that arrow is in the way. The mold really brings down the value. That is not mold. This increases the value. This is like amazing stuff that I imported from like New Zealand or something. So... You might want to get your facts straight before you go ahead and call any green stuff on rocks mold. Anyway, let's go ahead and toss that, not that, toss this stuff in here, and take down this sign. Probably could have just used that sign to write the disclaimer, but <laughs> that's okay, I'm a material waster. <laughs> Alright, so that's about it for this update video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I'm definitely enjoying it here on the server. Uh, don't forget to leave a like if you like the video. A comment if you're feeling talkative. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Also have a outside light. This has been Pizzino. I will see you guys later.